Serving Whiskey When it comes to serving spirits, whiskey is one of the most interesting and unique spirits that you will serve from behind your bar. It is also one of those drinks that can be served and enjoyed in countless different ways. We'll be taking a look in this lesson at the points that you need to understand when it comes to serving whiskey. In this lesson, we will be covering serving etiquette, taking a whiskey order, and presenting whiskey. Let's start with serving etiquette. Let's take a look at a few of the service principles that need to be followed when serving whiskey. Glassware. When whiskey is being served as a digestif, it always needs to be served in a whiskey tumbler. When your guests want to enjoy it as an ingredient in a long drink or in a cocktail, then it will mostly be served in a highball glass. This will usually be the case when they are enjoying their whiskey as an aperitif or during their meal. Temperature Just like brandy, whiskey must always be served at room temperature and not stored in the fridge or freezer. If the guests want to cool their whiskey down, they will add ice to it while enjoying it. Guest preferences Now we arrive at the section where whiskey service gets very exciting. Each and every guest will enjoy their whiskey in a different way, and some may even change the way they enjoy their whiskey depending on how they feel. The point to know is that you must be aware that some guests may want their whiskey on its own, some may want it with ice, some may want it with water, and some may want it with ice and water. If your guests ever ask for their whiskey with either ice or water, you need to include these alongside the tumbler glass. In other words, the water needs to be in a small carafe or jug, and the ice needs to be in a small ice bucket with tongs. If you don't have a small ice bucket with tongs, what is a good replacement? Well done if you said a glass with a spoon. Golden Rule What do you think is wrong with this picture of whiskey? You're 100% correct if you said that there should never be a garnish when serving whiskey in either a long drink or a short drink. It's fine to garnish cocktails containing whiskey, but that's it. Next up, let's get to grips with taking a whiskey order. Let's take the steps that we learnt about when taking a short drinks order and apply it to taking a whiskey order. Step 1. Ask the guest which brand of whiskey they would like. This is a very important step because every brand of whiskey has a different taste and guests will have their favourite brands which they enjoy. Step 2. Ask the guest what age whiskey they would like. Just like with brandy, the older the whiskey, the more expensive it tends to be. For this reason, make sure that you always are 100% sure that you know which age of whiskey the guest wants. Step 3. Ask the guest how many measures of whiskey they would like. The answer should always be either a single measure or a double measure. And step 4. Ask the guest whether they have any preferences as to how they enjoy their whisky. They will either mention that they want it with water, ice or both. Finally, let's look at presenting whisky. If the whisky is going to be enjoyed as a long drink, you can follow exactly the same steps that you learnt about in the lesson on serving gin. However, if the whisky is going to be enjoyed as a digestif at the bar, you need to follow these steps. Step 1. Prepare the tumbler of whisky for your guest using a jigger. Step 2. Prepare a small ice bucket and jug of water before placing them in front of your guest. Remember that these only need to be prepared if your guest asked for either ice or water. And step 3. Serve your guest the whiskey, water and ice. If you're preparing a whiskey for a waiter to take out, follow these slightly different steps. Step 1. Measure and pour the whiskey into a glass. And step 2. Prepare your jug of water and small ice bucket before placing them onto the tray with the whiskey. 
Why do you think we do the ice last? This is because if you prepared it first, the ice would begin to melt and may be watery by the time your guest is served. Preparing the ice first gives your preparation a time limit. Your tray is now ready to be taken out by a waiter. Well done on finishing this lesson and enjoy seeing the myriad of ways that whiskey can be enjoyed.